Okay, this is a rant. I absolutely fucking hate the term ones and zeros. If someone is explaining something to you and they say ones and zeros, they have lost all credibility. Just fucking walk out on them. No one is programming in ones and zeros. No one is looking at ones and zeros. That's an oversimplification of how numbers are encoded. And there's absolutely no conversion whatsoever that a computer has to do to convert something into ones and zeros it can understand. Computers understand huge fucking numbers. Larger numbers than you can even name. A 64-bit computer has enough numbers that it can solve most problems you can even comprehend. It's a gross oversimplification of how electrically we represent data. It has nothing to do with computers. It's got everything to do with digitization. Saying ones and zeros is a reference to the two symbols you would typically use in base two. Base two is a way of representing numbers that only uses two different symbols to represent a number. When you need to represent a number, whether it be electrically, anything where you need to quantize the number, in other words, break the number down into components that are smaller than the number itself. So in other words, if I wanna represent 10 possible combinations, I don't want there to be a wire for every single combination. We represent numbers, not just big numbers, any number, we represent it as a series of high and low bits because that's the cheapest type of computer we can make. We use binary to represent numbers electrically because it represents the cheapest, most efficient way that we can build a device that can communicate those fucking numbers. If we wanted to use trinary or have three values, like a one, two, or a three, we would need electronic circuits that could detect not only a high or a low value, but a high, a low, or an in-between value. Every time you add a bit, it doubles the number of possibilities you can work with, so it's a really easy way to comprehend. When people want to work with binary, when they want to work with the ones and zeros, they're usually using hexadecimal. This is because it's not, first of all, it's for you to remember eight ones and zeros is ridiculous. You can remember a decimal or a hexadecimal number rather easily, but for you to remember large numbers of binary strings, not only are they each large, so a, a byte is eight, but then you'd have to remember a lot of them to, to remember the same amount of number as you would remember by remembering to remember the same amount of number as you would remember by remembering a hexadecimal number. It's just so inefficient. No one works in that. No one does that. If you're typing shit out, that's going to be processed by a computer. If you need to align to a binary to an 8-bit boundary, you should be using hexadecimal. The reason decimal, which is what we normally count in, doesn't get used in computers is because the boundaries between the orders of magnitude are not aligned with the borders of order of magnitude of binary which is what computers deal with. So when I switch from two digits to three digits, that's on a completely different boundary than where a computer switches over from needing, you know, four bits to eight bits. And that, by the way, is why subnetting sucks. You should watch my video on subnetting and why no one understands it. And a lot of it is because we have this fucking implicit desire to work with decimal and there's no reason to and that's why IPv6 wins on so many fronts is because it's represented right out of the box in hexadecimal so when you draw lines in IPv6 you're really drawing lines in the binary you're just making you know smaller lines instead of bigger chunks one hexadecimal digit, which is called a nibble, represent four binary bits. That is what we should all be learning. That is the stuff that we should be saying. We shouldn't be saying the computer understands ones and zeros. We should be saying the computer understands numbers that are aligned from zero to F, because that is what's actually the case. Processors rarely work with bits. Processor instruction codes have opcodes to deal with bits because people like to use bits because it's the smallest amount of memory that can represent a true-false boolean. So we like to pack a lot of true-false booleans into a byte and call it a bit field. But most processors don't work with bits and when they do it's inefficient. They work at the byte level. Most of them don't even work at the byte level these days. They work at the word level and the word level is 32 bits or 64 bits. So no, processors don't understand ones and zeros. They understand 32 and 64 bit chunks of ones and zeros which we call actual fucking numbers. The only people looking at the ones and zeros are people hooked up to the fucking electronics with a logic analyzer. There 
analog fucking waves of electricity, and it just happens to be whether it's above a threshold that we call high, which is a one, or below a threshold, and it winds up being quantized as a zero. So no, it's never ones and zeros. At the physical level, it's an analog wave of electricity. At the logic level, it's high or low. At the processor level, it might be a bit, but that's as a convenience, it's part of a word. It's only when you try to extrapolate the granularity of it, does it become a one or a zero. That's like saying English speakers only understand A through Z. That's just the symbols we break our words down into. We can use those symbols to represent any number of things, and we don't think in symbols, we think in words and ideas and concepts. Thanks for listening to my rant. If you like the subject of my conversation, subscribe, like, whatever the fuck you want to do. I'm not your mother, and I'm not going to tell you how to work YouTube. Smash that fucking bell!